Welcome wherever you are in the world today. I'm Dr. Darlene. I have a very special guest today that I will introduce to you in just a moment. We're super excited about this summit coming up, launching December 1st. So many speakers with expertise in their field, <clears throat> excuse me, that have worked decades on what their best thing is. And so successful, it's been a pleasure working with so many people. And so through the summit, I've been able to meet them through the podcast that we've had. And wow, am I excited, not only for all of the summit, but to listen to their speeches that are from five minutes to 20 minutes, very short and power packed. With the purchase of my new book, Power Up Your Marriage, you can enter the summit and hear all of those talks. So make sure you go on my website, whatstopsyou.com. There should be a pop-up there that will not only give you a free gift, but it will allow you to enter the summit. So go to my website, whatstopsyou.com, and you can be in touch about that. So today, I am more excited than ever about this special client. <laughs> I said client. I didn't mean client. Special person that is a not only triple threat, but a fourple threat in what she does in the music industry. Welcome, Summer Rona. Hello. Thanks for having me. Yeah, I'm, I'm just really excited because I've seen, I've seen Summer on stage. I've seen her do her thing. And I just am so happy that you joined our summit and that your blessing of love of music gets to be shared with all of those listening. So tell us a little bit about you and where you began your quest for music. Was it when you're little, when you're a teenager? What kind of led you to where you are now? I never had a life without music. Um, my parents met in a band. My dad was a piano player. My mom was a singer. And, um, you know, they they had me. And from the beginning, I was always involved in sing, singing things. And my mom was a vo voice teacher. And um, I remember crawling under the piano, listening to the sound and the vibrations of the piano. And whenever my dad would play or my, my mom would sing, I would be drawn to that room always because it just meant you know it calmed my nerves it, it excited me it made me dance and um yeah I just have been drawn like a moth to a flame <laughs> to music um ever since that and um anytime I hear piano playing I'm looking around and I just I go towards it and so I've been writing songs and performing um my entire life actually so, so you've had this love for music and where has it gotten you briefly today? Not that we, you've got a whole bio that everyone can read the entire thing. Tell us just a little snippet of your bio, where you're at kind of now and you're heading out to LA, I think tomorrow you're heading to Orlando and then LA. And yeah, so I'm living in New York and LA. I'm bi-coastal at this point because they're like the music capitals of the world. And in New York, I'm working on an original musical that I've written with over 40 songs and um, another producing another show of a famous artist, Tina Marie, where I'm stepping into her shoes. Um, she really brought people together through music and really just, just creating every day, creating, producing, sharing the love of music and, and storytelling um, through sound vibration. And that's the best way to connect with people. And um, I just find that it makes people happy it makes people dance it makes people remember you know a memory and and a feeling and i just love um being able to connect and connect with people and also connect through the source that uh that sends music to me so um yeah i'm i'm still writing my original songs as well and licensing them for for tv and film and things like that so yeah i've performed with a lot of legends in the business and um like you. It's, been an, an, uh, it's been a journey um Jermaine Jackson I, I sang I'll be there with him I sing with Stevie Wonder um open for Diana Ross um with her son Evan Ross Halsey the MTV Video Awards um yeah just it's been a busy life <laughs> in music <laughs> so awesome and in this summit, how different is that? We're communicating through the lifespan. That's the name of the summit. We have communication from with teenage with, with some of the speakers. 
communication with marriage, communication with elderly or whatever, and communicating through the lifespan. So it's really cool that you were willing to join us. So I thought communication through music and communication through, you know, what that does for you. So tell us a snippet about your talk that you're going to be giving. It's about 15 minutes ish. And I've watched it and it's super powerful, not giving it away, but just get us excited for a teaser. Well, music is, is a powerful means of communication, you know, by which people share emotion, intention and meanings. Um, and our personal engagement with her personal engagement with music, whether live concert or listening to a CD or streaming service, it's driven by the medium's ability to convey and communicate emotion. Mm -hmm. um, I, there's a quote that says music is what feelings sound like. So it's really, yeah, it's really just communicating your feelings. So if you're in a somber mood, you're going to hear like a, a more minor chord or our sad chords are like minor chords. Um, major chords are happier chords. So there's actually like a science of what chords elicit what um, emotion. So, you know, I, I make sure that I write according to what my intention is. Mm -hmm. So if I want to write a happy song, it's not going to be all minors and, you know, it's going to, it's going to change. The chords are going to change. And, and also the, the BPM, the, the beats per minute, you know, there's, you know, it gets people like pumped up and motivated, gets their heart rate going, you know, so, so how fast, you know, the tone, the rhythm, the uh, quality, the chords, all of these things play into uh, what kind of reaction we're going to get. And so when we're communicating with people, just like when we're speaking, if we're speaking in a loud tone um, or a strong tone, hey, you know, that's going to, whoa, that's, that was, that was abrupt. That scared me or hi, I would really like you to listen to me. And it's more gentle. So our tone is very important, uh, to communicate what, what we mean and what we feel and the kind of response that we get. And what I've learned from my mom is communication is the response you get. So when I'm performing, I really love to look at the audience, or even if I'm an audience member watching a concert, I watch the audience because I see how they're reacting to the communication that's coming from the stage. And I look at the audience and go, oh, wow, they're really digging this. They're bopping along. They, it transforms rooms. It transforms hearts. You know, I always thought if, if there was like some, you know, a, a war going on, you know, instead of just talking and telling them we shouldn't do this. Have a singer come in and sing a nice, quiet song, calm them down. You know, it, it's so powerful. It can diffuse wars. It can diffuse anger um, and it can motivate and inspire people to get out of depression, anxiety. It can sp inspire people to, to move. Um, and, and it really influences other people. And, and, and what I liked about your presentation was that you made it user-friendly to the person listening so that the person listening really came away with what they can do and how they can engage and how they can start to either sing or feel or create or, or understand and take what you say into their own personal lives and become better because of what you share. So yeah, it's not just for professional singers. This isn't about you know, becoming a, a, a rock star. If you want to do that, do that. Do that later. <laughs> she could do that at the same time. But it's also the, so if you can, if you have vocal cords, you have a way of communicating through sound vibration. So whether it's your speech, being aware of your tone. Um, but if you, if you can speak, you can sing as well. So even if you don't want to be a rock star, experiment with your voice and with your range if you uh you know even meditating or chanting um you know taking a moment um you can feel that in your chest voice you can feel that vibration and it has a calming effect depending on which frequency you're on and so i talk about the different frequencies and wow. the uh, binaural beats which is really cool because each frequency has a different effect so you can kind of take it like a pill, like, oh, this is my, my calming pill. This is my heal my gut pill. This is my connect with a loved one pill. This is, you know, so you're, you're using music as medicine. 
Nice. That's so wonderful and so helpful to so many people. So I yes. really appreciate that. And I love also how power packed with all of your knowledge of years and years that you've put that into that short little bit. And what's really cool as well is that Summer will be performing just little snips on this, on this reel she shared. And so I really appreciate your being here. I am, there's, a, there's something else that's really cool about you. And that is that you're my daughter. <laughs> How cool am I, by the way? <laughs> So yeah, you already, I was, you knew I, story. I already knew that. So we wanted to share that at the end. She's my little, well, we, I like to think she's a doppelganger. She likes to think she's got her own person. I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, we are, we are a family that has loved music throughout our life and I've seen you grow and develop. <laughs> I'm going to cry now because I'm so proud of you. <laughs> so thank you. Thanks, mom. Thanks for your expertise and looking forward to the summit with all the speakers combined communicating through the lifespan. Thank you and have a wonderful day.